My topic is loss leader pricing and detail explain and let's go to the topic and let's go to the start. Loss leader pricing is a pricing strategy in which a company deliberately sets the price of a product below its cost in order to attract customers and increase sales of other products with higher profit margins. The idea behind this strategy is that customers will be enticed by the discounted product and then also purchase other, more profitable products while they are in the store or on the website. For example, a grocery store may set the price of milk below cost in order to attract shoppers to the store. While customers are there, they may also purchase other higher margin goods such as bread, produce, or meat. Loss leader pricing can be an effective strategy to increase foot traffic, gain new customers and generate more sales. However, it can also be risky if not properly executed, as the price may not bring in enough new customers to justify the loss or it could result in a loss of credibility if customers feel deceived. Overall, Loss leader pricing should be carefully planned and incorporated into a larger pricing and marketing strategy to maximize its effectiveness and minimize its risks. It may not be a sustainable long-term pricing strategy as it can hurt profit margins and negatively impact a company's reputation if customers become too reliant on the discounted prices. Additionally, loss leader pricing can also lead to price wars with competitors, which can be detrimental to all businesses involved. In conclusion, Loss leader pricing can be a powerful tool if used strategically and in moderation. It can help businesses attract new customers, increase sales, and improve brand awareness. However, it should be implemented with caution and as part of a larger pricing and marketing strategy to ensure its effectiveness and sustainability. Loss leader pricing is an aggressive strategy of pricing where a business will sell its product at a cost much lower than its market price to attract more customers and eventually account for those losses by selling other additional products to the same set of targeted customers and hence earn the profit in this case and make the business profitable. A loss leader pricing strategy requires a planned execution. When a business enters a market, this is a very common strategy. By making initial losses, the loss leader will first introduce the customers to his product or services and build up a customer base to help the business secure a source of recurring revenue for the future. Opponents of this strategy may complain it's predatory and wipe other businesses out of the market. Considering this loss leader strategy is banned in 50% of states of the US and some countries in Europe. Loss leader strategy is also popular among large companies because they have a wide range of products. Thus, they always make an effort to sell all the verities. Since this kind of pricing method not only help in raising the sales of the concerned product but also instigate customers to buy goods that they have not previous though of buying, the companies end up making good revenue in spite of lowering the prices. If they make losses in a particular segment of the product, they earn the margin lost from other profitable parts of the product they have. Loss leader strategy is widespread in the video games industry. Companies offer the consoles at rock-bottom prices, keeping a very low profit margin. But charging more for the video games by keeping a much higher margin and compensating for the losses. A loss leader pricing strategy, a term common in marketing, refers to an aggressive pricing strategy in which a store prices its goods below cost to stimulate sales of other, profitable goods. With such a pricing strategy, a business is selling its goods at a loss to lure customer traffic away from competitors. In contrast to predatory pricing, loss leader pricing is aimed towards stimulating other sales of more profitable goods. Learn more about business strategy in CFI's business strategy course. Loss leader pricing. At first glance, it may seem that such a pricing strategy would destroy the profitability of a store. However, the loss leader pricing strategy actually works quite effectively if executed properly. The rationale behind the strategy is the belief that pricing certain products below cost will draw more traffic from other competitors and, therefore, ultimately generate more sales on other products. Businesses attract new customers with an extremely cheap product or service in the hope of building a larger customer base and increasing long-term recurring revenue. For example, consider businesses that use introductory pricing for their products and services. Several cable and phone companies offer low rates for their services in an attempt to capture the customer and ultimately cross-sell other products and services. Although in this particular example the service may not be priced below cost, the rationale is essentially the same. Businesses should also regularly reassess their pricing strategies to make sure they are meeting their goals and not hurting their profits. 
By carefully considering the benefits and drawbacks of loss leader pricing, businesses can decide if it is the right approach for their unique situation. A loss leader strategy involves selling a product or service at a price that is not profitable but is sold to attract new customers or to sell additional products and services to those customers. Loss leading is a common practice when a business first enters a market. A loss leader introduces new customers to a service or product in the hopes of building a customer base and securing future recurring revenue. A loss leader strategy prices a product lower than its production cost in order to attract customers or sell other, more expensive products. Loss leading is a controversial strategy that is considered predatory. Some companies use a loss leading strategy when aiming to penetrate new markets to gain market share. Large companies can afford to price a, a product with no margin because they have other products they can sell profitably to make up for the loss. Loss leading strategies can hurt small businesses as well as suppliers, who might be forced to keep their own prices low so that a business can continue with its loss leading strategy. Loss leading can be a successful strategy if executed properly. A classic example is razor blades. Gillette, for example, often gives their razor units away for free or at a low price knowing that customers must buy replacement blades, which is where the company makes its profit. Another example is Microsoft's Xbox One video game console. The product was sold at a low margin per unit, but Microsoft knew that there was potential to profit from the sale of video games with higher margins and subscriptions to the company's Xbox Live service. The loss leader strategy is common throughout the video game industry and, in most cases, consoles are sold for less than they cost to build. To build a successful business, one of the most important decisions you will need to make is how to price your products. An effective pricing strategy will lead to a profit margin that can sustain and grow your business, while pricing mistakes in either direction can easily put you out of business. Nevertheless, there are situations when pricing your products too low can actually serve to draw customers and generate higher profits overall. This tactic is known as loss leader pricing. Read on to learn about loss leader pricing strategies and explore how to implement loss leaders for your business. Loss leader pricing is a marketing strategy that prices products lower than the cost to produce them in order to attract new customers or to sell additional products to customers. Companies typically use loss leader pricing when they are entering new markets or attempting to increase market share. With any loss leader product, retailers hope that, once inside the store, Buyers will also purchase other items that are being offered at full retail price. The profits from those additional purchases generally more than compensate for the losses on the one. Loss leader pricing is a strategy in which a seller marks a product or service for sale below cost to attract buyers into their online or physical store. According to the strategy, the loss leader item is sold at a loss, but the business expects customers to purchase other items at regular price, thereby negating the loss. Pricing strategies are rarely a one-size-fits-all approach in the world of retail sales. That is unless you're Dollar Tree, more on them in a moment. Most stores need a variety of pricing strategies to compete in the market, appeal to a wide target audience, and increase sales. While the loss leader strategy is a straightforward concept, there are several ways businesses execute this play. Introductory Pricing Introductory pricing is a type of loss leader pricing where a company entices buyers to purchase an item by offering a discount up front, then charging the regular price later. Think of this as the why not? Let's try it approach. This benefits the company because they're more likely to get new business by marketing a few items at a lower price. It's not a bait and switch, though. Customers benefit from this, too. They get to try out the product at a lower rate before deciding to commit to the purchase for a longer period of time. Store placement. Why is it that on the day before Thanksgiving, the walk to the dairy aisle to get that gallon of milk for the mac and cheese seems so much further away than usual? That's because it is, kind of. Grocery stores place milk in the back of the store for a few reasons, one of them being loss leader pricing. Milk and eggs are some examples of loss leader items, and they're good choices for this strategy. These items expire quickly, and a lot of customers purchase them regularly, so pricing them at a loss isn't going to break the bank for a grocery store. If customers walk past items that are priced at a profit on their way to the milk, they're more likely to see something else they want to buy. Store placement works for loss leaders because it makes up for the loss of profit on milk with the profit from, say, the Oreos on the end cap of aisle 2. Inventory Management 
In some industries, inventory management is just as important as proper pricing. A loss leader strategy ties both of these goals together to turn a profit. Many industries have inventory that simply won't sell if it's out of season, expired, or less valued by the market the older it gets. By pricing these older items at a price close to or lower than cost, businesses can attract more customers who are motivated to buy at the lower price. This influx of purchases quickly clears out older inventory items to make way for fresher products that can be sold at within a profitable margin. Free samples. Who doesn't love free stuff? Free samples are the quintessential loss leader. Stores offer customers free samples to build an affinity for the brand and the product. This tactic applies a phenomenon called the reciprocity principle. This is a principle of social psychology that suggests when people are offered a favor, they're more likely to reciprocate it. Therefore, taking a free sample might make customers feel obligated to buy the product. We're social creatures who thrive on cooperation, and free samples are just one way that cooperation works to turn a profit for businesses, and gets the new flavor of watermelon Oreos in your pantry. Understand the purpose of loss leader pricing Loss leader pricing is a marketing strategy that involves pricing certain products below cost to attract customers and encourage additional purchases of profitable items. The goal is to increase traffic or footfall and generate revenue from complementary products or services, offsetting the losses from the loss leader. Know your costs. Before using this strategy, businesses must carefully calculate their costs, including the cost of goods, COGS, overheads and any other associated expenses. They need to be confident that they can afford to sell the loss leaders at a loss and still meet their profitability targets. Consider the competitive landscape. Loss leader pricing can be an effective way to gain market share, but it is essential to consider the competition's pricing strategy. If all competitors are pricing their goods similarly, loss leader pricing may be less effective. In this case, businesses might experiment with other promotional strategies, such as bundling, discounts, or loyalty programs. Monitor performance. Continually assess the impact of loss leader pricing on sales and profitability. If the strategy is not working as expected, businesses may need to recalibrate their prices, product mix, or promotional messaging. Conversely, if the strategy is driving traffic and revenue, consider expanding the offering or continuing with the strategy. Communicate clearly. Customers must understand the terms and conditions of loss leader pricing. There should be no hidden charges, terms, or conditions. This transparency builds trust with the customer and protects the business's reputation. Don't rely on loss leader pricing as a long-term strategy. While loss leader pricing can be an effective short-term strategy, it should not become a long-term solution to boost sales. This can lead to unsustainable business practices and may harm the business's profitability in the long run. Identify the right products to use as loss leaders. Businesses should select products that are in demand and have a high potential to generate sales of complementary products or services. They should also avoid products that are low quality or unpopular, as this may damage the business's reputation. Timing is everything. Timing is a critical factor in loss leader pricing. Businesses should use this strategy during peak seasons or when there is high demand for certain products. They should also avoid using this strategy during low season or when there is low demand, as this may not generate the desired results. Don't overlook the impact on margins. While the primary aim of loss leader pricing is to increase sales, businesses must consider the impact on profit margins. They need to ensure that the additional sales of complementary products or services offset the losses incurred from the loss leaders. Train staff on the promotion. Staff should be trained on how to promote the loss leader items effectively. They should be able to communicate the terms and conditions of the promotion and upsell complementary products or services. This can increase the chances of generating additional revenue from the loss leader promotion. Monitor and evaluate the results. It is essential to track and analyze the results of the loss leader promotion regularly. This can help businesses determine if the strategy is working and if adjustments need to be made to improve the outcome data analysis can. Also help businesses identify successful products and fine-tune their pricing and promotion strategies. Have a clear plan for the end of the promotion. Loss leader pricing is a temporary strategy, and businesses should have a clear plan for when the promotion will end. They should communicate this to customers and ensure they have adequate stock levels of complementary products or services.
The end of the promotion should also be a smooth transition with a new promotion or pricing strategy to maintain customer interest and sales momentum. Price realistically, when using loss leader pricing, businesses should price realistically and avoid pricing too low or too high. Pricing too low may result in unsustainable losses, while pricing too high may fail to attract customers and generate sales. Businesses should conduct adequate market research to determine the right price point for their loss leader products. Consider the long-term impact. While loss leader pricing can be an effective short-term strategy to boost sales and attract customers, businesses should also consider the long-term impact. Will the strategy attract loyal customers who will continue to pay full price for products, or will it create a customer base that only seeks out promotions and discounts? Businesses should consider the potential risks and benefits of the strategy and decide if it aligns with their long-term goals. Use loss leader pricing strategically. Loss leader pricing should not be used for all products or all the time. It should be used strategically for certain products that can lead to increased sales of other products or services. For example, a grocery store may use loss leader pricing for milk to attract customers, but then promote other products such as bread or eggs at regular prices. Monitor competitors. Businesses should monitor their competitors and adjust their pricing and promotion strategies accordingly. If a competitor is offering a similar product at a lower price, businesses may need to adjust their pricing or promotional strategies to remain competitive. However, it is important to not engage in a price war that could result in unsustainable losses for both businesses. Be transparent with customers. Businesses should be transparent with their customers about their loss leader pricing strategy. They should communicate the reason for the promotion at any limitations or restrictions, such as a limited quantity or time period. Customers appreciate transparency and honesty, and it can help build trust and loyalty in the long run. Monitor the impact on profitability. Businesses must monitor the impact of loss leader pricing on their profitability. They should analyze the sales and revenue generated by the promotion, as well as the cost of goods sold and any other associated costs. This will help them determine if the promotion was effective and if the benefits outweigh the costs. Consider alternative promotions. Loss leader pricing is not the only promotional strategy available to businesses. There are other strategies such as bundling, upselling, and cross-selling that can also be effective in increasing sales and revenue. Businesses should consider the benefits and drawbacks of each strategy before deciding which one to implement. Don't rely solely on low prices. While low prices can be effective in attracting customers, businesses should not rely solely on this strategy. They should also focus on providing high-quality products and services, excellent customer service, and a unique value proposition. This will help build brand loyalty and differentiate the business from its competitors. Keep an eye on the competition. Businesses must keep an eye on their competitors' pricing strategies and adjust their own prices accordingly. They need to ensure that their prices are competitive while still maintaining a profitable margin. Communicate effectively. Businesses must effectively communicate their promotional offers to their target audience. They can do this through various channels such as social media, email marketing, and advertising. They should also clearly communicate the terms and conditions of the promotion to avoid any misunderstandings or complaints. Test and measure. Businesses should test and measure the effectiveness of their promotional strategies. They can do this by using A-B testing, tracking website traffic and sales, and conducting customer surveys. This will help them identify what works and what doesn't and make data-driven decisions. Plan for the long term. Businesses should not focus solely on short-term gains from promotional strategies. They should also consider the long-term impact on their brand reputation, customer loyalty, and overall profitability. It's important to strike a balance between short-term benefits and long-term sustainability. Continuously improve. Finally, Businesses should continuously review and improve their promotional strategies. They should be willing to experiment with new approaches and adapt to changing market conditions. By staying agile and open to new ideas, businesses can stay ahead of the competition and drive long-term success. Personalize promotions. Customers are more likely to respond positively to promotions that are personalized to their needs and preferences. Businesses can use data and analytics to tailor their promotions to specific customers or customer segments. Create a sense of urgency. Limited time offers and promotions create a sense of urgency and can motivate customers to take action. Businesses can use tactics such as countdown timers, flash sales, 
and limited stock notifications to create a sense of urgency and encourage customers to make a purchase. Offer value added promotions. Businesses can offer promotions that add value to their products or services, such as free gifts, free shipping, or extended warranties. These promotions can differentiate the business from its competitors and create a positive customer experience. Partner with other businesses. Businesses can partner with other businesses to offer joint promotions or bundles. This can help expand their customer base and reach new audiences while offering additional value to customers. Listen to customer feedback. Customer feedback can provide valuable insights into the effectiveness of promotional strategies. Businesses should listen to customer feedback and adjust their strategies accordingly to ensure they are delivering promotions that resonate with their target audience. The prime purpose of loss leader pricing is to gain market penetration and attain a customer base that will help them to expand the business through increase in sales. The strategy is mainly targeted to attract customers by using the price to fight competitors. It aims to target customers, make them buy their product, spread through a word of mouth pattern, retain the customers, and eventually sell them other products or complementary products by keeping a higher profit margin. Thus, the business first sells certain products at zero or negative profit margin and afterwards sells some other products at a much higher profit margin to compensate for the initial losses. Companies that use loss leader pricing should keep in mind that this strategy needs to be properly executed as it may lead to the business's bankruptcy if there is no proper business model or planning. The main purpose of this strategy is to draw more traffic from the competitors and, in this way, generate more sales. This strategy works best to introduce the customer to the cheapest product or services with the hope of building a bigger customer base and generating recurring revenue. In the future, the strategy works with the sole aim of building a customer base by selling a few products at a zero or negative margin initially and then generating recurring revenue by selling other products or complementary products to the same set of customers shortly. This strategy is common in the razor industry, where the razors are sold at rock bottom prices. Still, in the same way, the company makes up for the moss or earns even more profit margin by selling blades associated with the razor to customers repeatedly. At times pricing a product at a loss can eventually lead to profit if the customer can be influenced or persuaded to buy other items at a higher margin during the same shopping trip. Thus, this depends on how the business markets its loss-making product and, in the same way, markets other products that can help compensate for the initial loss made. So this strategy is designed to woo customers from the competitors using price as a weapon and then build up a customer base and generate future recurring revenues. The loss leader strategy is also known as penetration pricing as the manufacturer attempts to penetrate the market by pricing its products low. Opponents of loss leader pricing practices argue that the strategy is predatory in nature and designed to force competitors out of business. Loss leaders and retail shops both brick-and-mortar stores and online shops use loss leader pricing strategies. These businesses frequently price a few items so low that there is no profit margin. The hope is that once the shopper buys the product from the store or the website, the shopper will buy other products and become loyal to the brand. Unfortunately, for business owners, consumers sometimes leave without buying other products or subscribing to the brand. This consumer practice of jumping from shop to shop and picking up loss leader items is called cherry picking. Some retailers place loss leaders at the back of their stores so consumers will have to walk by other, more expensive products to get to them. One of the most practiced examples of this is the sale of milk. Milk, a common household item, is often placed at the back of every grocery store, requiring an individual to pass by almost every other item in a grocery store. Even if the shopper just came in a store to buy milk, it is very likely they will purchase additional items as they walk by them on their way to the milk section and then back to the register, resulting in increased sales for the shop. Loss Leaders and Introductory Pricing Introductory pricing can also be a loss leader. For example, a credit card company may offer a low introductory rate to entice clients to use a card or transfer their existing balances. Then, after snagging the client, the company raises its interest rates. Similarly, cable companies often offer low rates, sometimes at a loss, for an initial period to attract new customers or to lure customers away from competitors. Loss Leader Strategy For businesses that use a loss leader strategy, the greatest risk is that clients may only take advantage of the loss leader pricing and not use any of the business's other products and services. Additionally, 
some small business owners complain that they cannot compete with large corporations who can absorb the losses implicit in this strategy. Finally, suppliers to companies who follow a loss leader strategy may experience pressure to keep their own prices low so that the company using a loss leader strategy can continue to do so. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe the channel.